Hi, I'm Dr. Tash. In today's episode, I'll be talking about vaginal dilators. Many women have issues with putting anything into the vagina, and this is where vaginal dilators can really, really help. Before we look into the anatomy of vaginal dilators, who exactly can vaginal dilators help? There are many women that benefit from the use of vaginal dilators that can really help overcome a number of issues. Most commonly, there are many women who just can't have sex comfortably. They're not used to having things in the vagina and vaginal dilators can really help with this, just getting used to something being in there. Uh, there are many women who have psychological and sexual issues around penetration, vaginal dilators can really help. Some women are born with shortened vaginas and the vaginal dilators can really help stretch the vaginal canal. As you know, the vagina is actually, it's skin, so it's very pliable, very stretchable. There are women who need surgery or radiotherapy to the vagina and that can cause a stenosis, tightening and shortening in the vagina. Dilators can really help here as well. And of course, there are people who undergo sex reassignment surgery. We use dilators to maintain and to build a vagina. The vagina is surrounded by the pelvic floor. The pelvic floor is made up of muscle. There are women who have a lot of muscle spasm. Um, for example, women with endometriosis or who have an overactive pelvic floor. Here, vaginal dilators can really, really help. Dilators can also be really useful for women who are really nervous about having sex for the first time or who are nervous about having their first pap smear. And remember, don't do not fear, fear the, the smear. smear. Say it again, do not fear the smear. A little bit about the anatomy of a vaginal dilator. There are a number of vaginal dilator kits out there and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favourite kits. So as you can see, a vaginal dilator um, generally comes in a kit, you can get them separately. But a kit usually means that you've got dilators that range in size. So as you can see, there's going from small to large. And really there's no race to graduate. You take your time in going from the small to the large. And uh, it's really to enable change and progression over time. Progression meaning progress. There are different types of dilator kits. There are some really quite boxy, uh, hard plastic kits. What I love about this kit is it's made out of silicon. Silicon is really pliable and quite soft. Uh, this kit's more inviting, it's more appealing. Um, there are little kind of handles that you can hold on to, you and your partner. Um, remember, partners can help you with this dilatation. Um, and it's more graduated to the vaginal canal and there's a little tip at the end which may be useful in finding your G-spot. For more information about this kit, please visit my website. So how about beginning to use the dilator kits? Some of you may be happy to buy a kit offline or uh, perhaps buy one from a shop. Some of you may be a bit intimidated by that. I always send patients to pelvic floor physiotherapists. They work wonders. Some tips when it comes to using dilators at home. Get comfortable, light some candles, turn down the lights, turn up a bit of music, use plenty of lubricant, and remember, there is no rush to graduate. Thank you for watching this episode of Dr. Tash TV. I hope you've learned a little bit about vaginal dilators. If you think other people may benefit, please share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future goodies. And until then, be well.